That's right. Some of us saw some pretty big storms last night. They weren't widespread. Not everyone got them, but some of us sent some really great pictures in. We want to thank Carla Asklin from Apton for sending in these towering thunderstorms. These are what you call cumulonimbus clouds, and we saw several of those yesterday as those storms grew up into the atmosphere. Uh, some of those did turn severe as well. This morning, it's all about the wind here. You can see Creston. The flags are straight out of the west, and the uh, wind turbines are turning there as well. 63 degrees is the temperature with a wind sustained out of the west at 14 miles per hour. Today our temperatures will be a little bit cooler than where we were yesterday. We were at 85 today, only talking about upper 70s here under partly to mostly cloudy skies, and we can't rule out a chance of an isolated shower or storm closer to the track of that low pressure center up in the parts of northeastern Iowa. But for the rest of us should be a mostly a mostly sunny to partly cloudy day temperatures in the upper 70s, even some lower 80s down in the southwestern parts of the state. These are your storm reports. We had a couple swaths of hail last night, one near Indianola and then a few more hail reports reports from Albia over toward Ottumwa. The largest hail report last night in Palo Alto County, three inch hail up in those locations there. So that storm system that brought all that is pushing off to the east this morning. We're just left with the area of low pressure up in the parts of Minnesota. Strong northwesterly flow around that will keep us windy today. There are those scattered showers and maybe an isolated storm up to the northeast. Temperature near 79. Watch for winds here today. They're screaming out of the northwest here at around 20 to 25 miles per hour. We could see gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Now overnight the winds will settle down as the atmosphere cools off, but as we start to get more mixing during the day tomorrow, the winds will once again pick back up out of the northwest at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Now it won't be windy for the entire week here. We're going to watch this area of high pressure move in late Monday into Tuesday. That will allow our winds to settle down and that will also help to reinforce that dry, cool air mass. Temperatures only in the lower 80s on Monday. We will start to warm up on Tuesday as the high begins to push off to the east. Later on this week, the weather pattern does change. We watch a ridge build in. We'll be on the northern periphery of that, so our temperatures do heat up. The moisture does return as well, and that will lead us to a chance for a few scattered showers and storms. We're not talking about rain every single day, but intermittent storm chances do return as we head into Wednesday. Here's your eight-day forecast. Again, temperatures a little bit cool for the first part of this week. Upper 70s today, lower 80s tomorrow, mid 80s on Tuesday. We're dry through Tuesday as well. But then those intermittent storm chances return Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It will be hot as well with highs near 90. A cold front will drop us back into the lower 80s, though, by next weekend.